When it comes to making a diagnosis, Deborah Horwitz, president of the American College of Veterinary Behaviorists, highlights several behaviors common in patients with separation anxiety. The problem behavior must occur in the owner's absence or perceived absence and will not occur when they are present. The dog will show other signs of attachment and separation related stress, such as departure cue anxiety. An example of this would be following the owner as they prepare to leave the house. The dog will usually exhibit extreme prolonged excitement when the owner returns home, even after a short absence. Treatment becomes imperative to improve the dog's welfare and to salvage the human-animal bond. Punishment can counter progress by contributing to the dog's general level of anxiety. Confinement may result in property or self-destruction if the animal does not feel comfortable in a confined area. Medication may reduce the symptoms, however, they do not effectively modify the dog's behavior. Systematic desensitization has been proven successful in a study done by Butler and colleagues in 2011 and includes the following five components to permanently reduce anxiety. Leave your dog in isolation for gradually increasing in variable lengths of time. This allows your pet to slowly adapt to seclusion. Counter condition your dog by providing treats or food during pre-departure activity, immediately before leaving and upon return. This helps extinguish anxiety by associating the fear generating response with the incompatible emotional response associated with eating. Seize all punishment towards separation related behaviors to avoid further increasing the level of anxiety in your dog. The use of stay training allows you to distance yourself from your dog while in a neutral setting and reward sitting calmly. Implementing a minimum exercise regime of 15 minutes per day uses energy and relieves boredom. In a study done in Taiwan, researchers investigated the reasons for relinquishing dogs adopted from animal shelters. Problems with the dog's behavior was the most frequent single cause of abandonment, totaling 31.9% of cases. Of that 31.9%, nearly 73% of owners attributed the release to the dog's excessive barking. Dogs exhibit barking and crying behavior for a number of reasons, and the researchers characterized separation anxiety as one of the major causes. Owners should be properly educated to understand why separation anxiety occurs, and the methods to treat or prevent the behavior from occurring. This would help to improve dog welfare and reduce the number of dogs relinquished to shelters.